Welcome back to six news at six time to take a look at your weather and we showed you your almanac just before the break, but let's go through it for just a second. How about 92 today? That's very close to the seasonal average of 91 and I know what you're thinking today is September 15th. Our, our averages are still in the 90s and the answer is yes. Yes, they are and they will be for the next several days as well. 69 is where we started the day and again 67. That's where we're supposed to be. So again, pretty average day uh, for September 15th here across uh, central Texas. So again, not too bad. Uh, it is September 16th. Thank you, Macy. You're absolutely right. I've been saying September 15th all day. I'm so sorry. Yes, today is the 16th. So let's talk about the 15th, though. Yesterday's high, we hit 101 for your Sunday. That, by the way, was a new record, breaking the old record of 100 set back in 1911. So yeah, it uh, that record stood for 113 years. No more. 101 yesterday. In fact, 100 on Saturday, too. So both days of the weekend, we topped 100 degrees. So that brings us up to 19 now for the year. And again, I don't think we're going to make the average 24. I don't know that we got five left in us. I, I really don't. We'll see, uh, but I really don't think we have five more 100 degree days left in us. Remember, the latest we've ever hit uh, 100 degrees was October 12th, so we'll keep an eye on it, but I don't think we got five more. 100 degree days to date last year was 65. Last year was a hot year, but not nearly as hot as 2011 when we hit 90 100 degree days in a single year. So that was a lot, and I think we'll take the 19 instead. As for what we're doing right now, how about 91 from Marlin to Temple? 92 in Colleen, 90 in Gatesville, 89 right now in Meridian, 8, 93 in Georgetown. When you factor in the humidity, it's really not that bad. We've had more humid days. We had a little frontal boundary push through last night, and that has winds out of the north, and that's good because that means uh, when we're at 91, it only feels like about 95 out there. If we still had the southeast winds like we were dealing with uh, over the course of the weekend, we would be talking about heat index values that feel much, much warmer than that. And we will, but through the uh, rest of the week, see those humidity levels increase, which means your heat index values will also increase increase, but let's take a look at your temperatures now for the next five days. So this is uh, this white line right here. This is where we're supposed to be 91 90 by Saturday. You can see our averages do fall back into the upper 80s, but we're actually going to be going the other way throughout the week with those temperatures increasing back to the mid and upper 90s by midweek and into the end of the week. And then by the weekend, we are watching a pattern change. You can see a couple of degrees cooler there on Saturday. Let's show you what that looks like right now. Again, high pressure. You see the oranges, the reds. That usually means hot weather, right? Well, watch what happens as this trough moves across from west to east uh, from California through the uh, desert southwest and into our region. It's going to dampen that high pressure ridge just a little bit. It's going to push it down. That means lower pressure. That means we could actually see the door open for maybe a chance for some showers across the area and potentially some cooler weather as we head into that first week of fall next week. Here's a look at seven day forecast. That's what I was talking about just ju just then. You see the lower temperature Saturday and Sunday. It's not a lot. We go from 96 down to 94, 92 there by Sunday. Sunday, of course, being the first full day of fall there and then by Monday we're at 93. We could see those dip a little bit lower closer to 90 degrees as we head towards the middle of next week.